continues to definitively embrace the customs and traditions of her upbringing. Bethany Vieira and her four-year-old daughter, Zaina, there in Saudi Arabia. Did you mind? <laughs> Cell phone videos. All the contact grandma and granddad back home in Wenatchee, Washington, have right now. All the contact they might ever have. If Zaina can't leave, she won't leave. It makes perfect sense that she won't give up. We also realize that she may lose her life doing this, or we may never see her again. My name is Bethany Vieira El Hadri. I work in human rights, focused on Saudi Arabia. I didn't feel like I wanted my daughter to see this as these behaviors um, as the norm or what is acceptable for a, a father or a, a husband to do to a wife. I, I needed her to know that she needs to be treated with respect and that she couldn't, she couldn't lower her standards and she would see what was happening to me and, and would be likely to repeat it. I wanted her to be a warrior. I wanted her to be free and to have every option available to her. I thought, I'm stuck here for the rest of my life because I will never be able to leave with this child and I will always be at her father's mercy, always. And I knew that the court wasn't going to help me, so I asked if I could speak to her father. He refused, then the judge forced him. <laughs> and I knew that my only option was to tell him that I would marry him again, or that I still loved him and I wanted to get back together. The father is the guardian. He has the right to let the child travel always. Um, so I still had to beg and beg. So from September, when that first forced settlement happened, until we, we left, um, yeah, on December 15th, so for three months, basically, I had to pretend to love him, to sleep with him, to get out. We're coming into Seattle, Zaina was, was sleeping next to me on the flight and I just broke down, like, a, like I've never broken down before, like snot and tears and everything. So the, the flight attendant got up and he was, was like, are you okay, what's going on? And I was just like, I've been stuck in Saudi Arabia for almost two years, I didn't think I would get it. I just exploded you know it was the first time that it all came out because it felt safe I could see Seattle outside of my window and it was like We're okay but I just remember the people in front of us turning around and being like oh my god I can't believe you made it out and and you know it's like well welcome home welcome back to the United States of America and I just remember yeah it was really emotional back there all of the things that I've said and revealed within the case because now I have freedom of speech could put me at serious serious risk of which I either would have to stay here to protect myself and let her go back and never see her again or 
which won't happen because they would never leave my child. I'd probably go to jail and probably could be worse. I mean, probably would be worse. <laughs>